Before investing in a water treatment system, it's crucial to understand the hidden problems that might be in your city water. Without proper knowledge of your tap water's chemistry, you risk installing an ineffective system that fails to protect your family from harmful contaminants. Lead, chlorine byproducts, forever chemicals, and other impurities could silently compromise your health and safety over time. Don't let your peace of mind be shattered by preventable water issues. Watch this video to ensure your water treatment's choice is the right one for your home's unique needs. Let's get started. Welcome back to the Clean Water Store. I'm Jerry Bolfin, WQA Master Water Specialist, where we provide innovative solutions and knowledge to improve your home's water quality. Let's dive in. So let's start with understanding city water chemistry. Water chemistry simply refers to the study of the different substances that are found in water and how they interact with each other. It helps us understand what makes water safe to drink, how it can affect our health, and how it behaves in the environment. For city waters in the U.S., Water chemistry is important because it ensures that the water coming out of our taps meets current health standards and it tastes good. It involves testing for things like minerals, pH levels, chemicals, bacteria, turbidity and the clarity of the water and other things that affects how the water looks, feels and is good for our health. So here are a few common contaminants found in city water. Chlorine is added to water to disinfect it and kill bacteria, viruses and other harmful organisms. Harmful disinfection byproducts can be formed, which can pose some health risks over time. Chemicals such as the forever chemicals, PFPFAS, PFOS, and then pesticides and trace amounts of pharmaceuticals often can end up in city water. These are introduced by sources such as agriculture and also residues of prescription drugs and over-the-counter medications can enter water supplies through improper disposal. Microorganisms, bacteria, viruses, and parasites can sometimes find their way into our water supplies causing illnesses if not properly treated. This is why periodically you might hear boil order notices where they're concerned that the water was not properly treated and they advise you to boil the water to kill the bacteria. Minerals and sediment. Big common problem, this includes hardness minerals such as calcium carbonate and cloudy water and salts and other sediment in the water can cause scale to build up on your appliances and fixtures and make it more difficult to wash your clothes and can make your shower doors appear cloudy. And finally, there's often issues with pipes and distribution systems. For example, our aging infrastructure has many thousands of miles of ancient pipes that are full of rust and sediment that can cause problems with leaching rust and sediment and other metals such as lead into the water. So each of these different contaminants obviously carry different levels of health risk depending on the individual and also what area you're in. And I made a different video that went into more details on all these and you can click this link up here to see that video. Now that we've gone over these the different areas, let's find out how you can determine what your local water chemistry is. So there's basically two ways you can really find out what your local water chemistry is. One is you can go online and find out what your consumer confidence report is published by your water local water utility. They're required to produce one at least once every year and there's it's usually online you can find it. If you need a link to it, just I put a link in the description and click there and you can enter your zip code and find out your local water chemistry. The second way is to actually get a water test kit and do some testing yourself at home. There could be some slight advantages of this. You can't test for everything that the city water lab will test for, but sometimes the, the water chemistry at your home can differ from what the water chemistry is leaving the plant because of the distribution system. So I put two links in the description. One is for to get find out how you can get your consumer confidence report for free. And then also if you wanna see about getting your water tested, at your house. Now that you've considered water chemistry and what your local needs are, it's important to think that really water treatment breaks down into a couple main areas. One is some people only want to deal with the mineral deposits, the sediment, scaling, so they physically see like scale or white or rust maybe on their fixtures or appliances or maybe their hair is dry, their skin is dry. So those are considered whole house water conditioners and sometimes water softeners, the traditional kind that you salt, depending on your water chemistry. And then the other type of whole house system that people frequently want to get are ones that remove chlorine, chemicals, forever chemicals. So in other words, they know that all the water coming into the house is free of these chlorine disinfection byproducts 
and other chemicals so they don't suffer from maybe skin rash or also the chlorine can dry out your hair and skin as well. So it breaks down into those two main areas. Some consumers do not care at all to treat the water through the whole house. They're only concerned about what they put in their bodies. They want drinking water and one tap that's very high quality. And so that's the, that's the third type of system that people got a point of use system at the sink, or maybe on the counter that will give them pure water and then they don't have bottled water, microplastics and have all the expense and hassles of bottled water. So to kind of make this less overwhelming and kind of narrow down what general type of system you need, we develop a simple quiz on our site and all you have to do is go on the site, take the quiz, three or four minutes, answer some simple questions, and it'll lead you down the path of knowing which type of main system do you want. Do you want to treat for chemicals, minerals, both, point of use, whole house, and then it'll guide you based on your concerns and your local water chemistry, and you can quickly find out what works for you, and or if you're still confused or you need more help, you can get help from a professional who will tell you what general type of system that would work for you. And don't forget, we have a low cost test kit that makes it very easy to you to find out what the water chemistry is in your own home. You can do it yourself within a few minutes and find out what your water chemistry is. So just click the link below and get one of our test kits. So in terms of the different type of systems, first let's talk about chlorine and chlorine byproducts. If your city water has a smell of chlorine, or maybe has an algae smell or pond smell. These are caused by chlorine and different algaes and things in the water that can affect the taste and odor of the water. So those we treat with activated carbon and there are many types of activated carbon systems available. A lot of folks will get a cartridge that they have to change. It doesn't last very long and they frequently have to change it. It also can restrict the flow and pressure coming into your house. And then the second type of general mean whole house system are types that can deal with sediment and prevent scaling like mineral scale buildup and spots and stains on fixtures, appliances, and also affects your how your skin and your hair and your laundry come out. So these are called water softeners or water conditioners and some use salt and some don't use salt. And it really depends on your water chemistry and what you're trying to achieve. The water softeners, the traditional salt-based water softeners use salt brine to clean and regenerate the softening resin inside. And then you get actually the mineral scale being removed from the water. And then that makes your fixtures come out so they don't have spots and stains on them and your laundry comes out softer. And the downside of that is you have to use salt, bags of salt you get from a hardware store, Home Depot, whatever. You have to add it yourself a couple times a year. The newer systems are very salt efficient, so they use a lot less salt than the old ones, but you still have to use salt. Whereas we also have salt-free water conditioners, and they're very popular too. They don't actually remove the minerals from the water, but they treat the water so you don't get the scale building up in your pipes. So it protects your pipes, your water heater, your appliances. But if the water were to evaporate on a surface, such as a glass door, you're still gonna see the minerals because it doesn't take out any. It just treats the calcium so it can't stick to pipes and stick to your fixtures and build up in your water heater. The other part about whole house systems is also sediment removal. Some folks live in areas where the water distribution system is just really old and it's not gonna be fixed anytime soon. So they get rust, sediment, sand even. So there are also whole house systems we have especially for that, that last for many years, fully automatic no filter cartridges. Generally, filter cartridges, we don't recommend them as much because one, after a while for the whole house, they get clogged up. You've got to change them, put it off. You don't want to deal with it. And you have to turn off the water, change the cartridge. It's more of a hassle and it, and it can cost more over time because you frequently have to change them, especially if you get a chlorine removal system, you might change that once a month even to get it to have it be effective. Another special use that is getting more and more popular is a whole house disinfection system. Now, of course, in the US, the water is generally safe. It's spent billions of dollars all the time and professionals are working really hard to make sure the water is safe from E. coli, coliform bacteria, that type of thing. However, it's not 100% safe and absolutely the water isn't sterile coming through the pipes. There is a little bacteria. So if you have a compromised immune system, 
or you're on cancer chemotherapy or you're having other situations, maybe elderly or infants, you, you, you can be a little bit more at risk for these bacteria that lurk. And then of course, if there's an actual failure of the system, which happens periodically in some areas, then they issue a boil order notice. So then you have to boil the water to have good water. Well, so what people do is that you can get a whole house ultraviolet sterilizer and that goes after your whole house system. So for instance, say your water is high in minerals, then you want to soften or condition the water first, then have your UV sterilizer after, because the UV sterilizer is a UV light inside a glass tube it's shining in the water, kills everything that comes past it. And then if any minerals or sediment build up on that glass sleeve, then it's not going to work. So water has to be fairly clean for the UV sterilizer to work. But the advantage is you don't have to do much to it. Once a year, you change the little lamp that's inside. It's very easy and quick to do. And that's about it. So there's, they're very low maintenance and they're extremely effective. So you can have, there's various types of UV systems that are available depending on how big your home is and, and how precise you want it to be in terms of like, you can get some where the UV sterilizer, if the water coming in, is too dirty or your system failed or the light burned out and it could shut off your water or you can get you know there's there's different levels of uv protection that we have available okay so we talked about whole house treatment now let's talk about point of use point of use we refer to treatment at one sink usually it's under the sink and there's a separate little faucet or it could be a countertop but basically there are situations where even though you've treated the water throughout your whole house you still may want an under the sink reverse osmosis system. So the reverse osmosis systems use a membrane and they take out everything down into parts per billion. And so you, you have, it's actually removing the dissolved solids in the water. So even though say a softener or conditioner may improve the mineral characteristics of your water, it doesn't desalinate your water or remove the salts. And there's no real practical way to remove salts throughout the whole house. I mean, you, we do that for people on wells when it's really bad, but it's not practical for or necessary at all for city water. But anyway, it's good to have a point of use system under your sink because then you know you get pure water out of that one tap. So that's very popular. So the combination of having a whole house system and a point of use system is really popular because then they can drink the water through a house, brush the teeth, they know it's fine, but for actual all the drinking or say cooking, or maybe, for instance, making baby formula, it's great to know that you have one tap that's pure water. So we often recommend that as a good option. Okay, so I gave you a good overview of why it's important to understand your city's water chemistry before choosing a system so you don't end up with something that's not necessary for your water. That's why I filmed an entire series that goes in a deeper dive on each of the type of water treatment systems available. Click the video that's on your screen right here and I'll see you there.